Friends, hi, how are you? Do you know what time it is? <gasps> that's right, guys, that's right. It is time for Read Aloud 2 with Miss Searles. And are you ready? I have a very special book. It's called, oh, what are those letters? R, what sound does the R make? R, E, E, and what? X, S, S. good job. It's called Rex. Rex, look at that Rex right there. Rex is a what? <gasps> hmm, is Rex a dinosaur? I think so, guys. Let's read this cool story about Rex. This is Rex. That's right, guys. This is Rex. What do you think Rex is going to do, guys? Hmm, let's see. This is our pet, our class pet. Wow, they have a class pet named Rex, and he is a dinosaur. Every day, someone gets to take Rex home. <gasps> oh my goodness, would you guys want to take a dinosaur home? But look, he's not a big Rex. He's a small Rex, but is he a dinosaur? <gasps> I don't think so. Is he a lizard, guys? <gasps> Or is he a iguana? <gasps> hmm. You guys, this is Rex. We're taking him home. Guess what, guys? You take Rex home with a special book. Oh, wow, guys. Look at that. They're taking him home. They're putting him in a tank like we do our fish. In the special book, you write all the things Rex did on his visit. So, guys, not only do they take Rex home, but they have a book and they have a tank that they put them in. And you get to write all about Rex in the book. Isn't that pretty cool? Hmm. Maybe we could have done that. If you can't write, guess what you do? You can draw a picture. And on Monday, Rex went home with Jay. So, if you can't write about it, you can draw a picture about Rex. Isn't that pretty cool? You know what that called, guys? That is called a journal. Jay has a swimming pool. Rex went for a swim. Lucky he can float. Wow, he floated in the water. Did you see that, guys? Good thing he can swim. Hmm. Because if he couldn't, he would not have made it, would he? On Tuesday, Hillary took Rex home. Hillary lives in a big apartment building. Excuse me, friends. Rex fell out the window. Oh, no. He was a bit surprised, but at least nobody was underneath. Uh-oh, look. Oh, my goodness. I think Rex is a dinosaur. Look, he said, he fell out the window. But nobody was down there. Look, guys, he's climbing up the building. On Wednesday, Sam took Rex home. Rex helped Sam's mom in the shop. Some of the customers got scared. Rex is used to that. Whoa. Look what happened. Rex came out and some of the customers was very scared. Would you be scared if you saw a dinosaur? Miss Searles would. On Thursday, Amy took Rex home. Hmm. Amy has a little brother. Uh-oh, what is that little brother doing? Is the little brother getting out of the crib? He's throwing all his toys out of the crib, isn't he? Let's see what happens next. He dressed Rex up in Malibu's Barbie's clothes. It's a good thing Rex has a sense of humor. Uh-oh. Look at Rex's face. Do you think Rex is happy? The baby brother dressed the dinosaur up into some Barbie's clothes. Oh, my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. And with a purse, guys. Oh, my goodness. Guess what, guys? Now it's Friday. At last, it's my turn. <gasps> Ooh, look at how happy she is. I'm lucky I can have Rex for the Rex for the whole weekend. I wonder what to, I will do with Rex. What do you think she's going to do with Rex? Let's find out, guys. Maybe we will go to the movies. What sort of movie would Rex like? Hmm. Do you think an animal should be in the movie theater? Hmm. She's getting what? What's that in her hand? 
That's right, guys. That's popcorn. Look at Rex. Oh, my goodness. It looks like Rex is really big right there. Right, guys? Or to a restaurant. Would Rex like a giant hamburger? Mmm. Look at all those burgers. That's a lot of burgers. Because you know what? Dinosaurs eat a lot of food. Right, guys? Maybe we will hide behind the door and jump out when someone goes by and say Arr! do you think that's friendly guys no that's not very friendly that would scare all the people away right guys then when we are tired we will snuggle up under the blankets and go to sleep i wonder if rex snores do you think rex snores look at how big rex is now rex is no longer small like he was in that little tank, guys. Uh-oh. Rex is snoring. <laughs> Can you snore like Rex? <laughs> Woo! Rex is really loud. I love Rex. What would you do if Rex came home with you? Look at how... You know what, guys? Sometimes Rex is really, really big. And sometimes Rex is really, really small. Do you think Rex changes? Do you think he gets big and small and big and small? I, 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 I don't know, friends. That was a cool book, though, wasn't it? Guys, you know, what kind of pet did we have at school? Hmm, that's right. We had a fish, and our fish name was Goldie. And so you guys were able, some of you friends took Goldie home as well. Did you guys write about Goldie, or did you guys draw a picture about what you did with Goldie. So guys, if you have a pet at home, think about some things that you do with your pet. Can you write about your pet? Can you draw pictures of what you and your pet did during the weekend? Maybe you can. Or if you don't have a pet, maybe you went outside and you saw a bird or you saw a bunny like in Miss Searle's neighborhood. We always see bunnies and rabbits. So maybe we can draw picture about, pictures about things that's in our neighborhood and what we saw this week. Weekend. All right, friends. Bye-bye. I love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Big hug. See you later.